Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time that you are coming and watching a video of mine, my name is Albert Thomas and pretty much on this channel I do everything from like engineering projects, art, music, um, you name it, I've probably tried it out, right? Um, pretty much I just do anything that I'm interested in doing and if I feel like it, I'll put up a video about it. So in this one, I wanted to talk about a book that I recently read called Persepolis. Uh, actually, let me grab it. So I wanted to talk about this book right here called Persepolis that I recently read. Um, the full title is The Complete Persepolis and it's by Marjane Satrapi probably butchering the name there but yeah the reason that I wanted to read this book especially with the current climate everything that's going on in the in the world especially the US right I wanted to try and learn more about different cultures different societies um, different um, backgrounds things like that so I thought trying to start branching out in my reading and reading about different people's life stories so to speak felt like something that I should be doing. This story is a memoir about this girl who is growing up in Iran during the Islamic Revolution, things like that, and pretty much how she grows up in this environment where religion kind of alters the way that the society is functioning, right? But that's not the sole purpose behind the story. Overall, I would say it's pretty much just a coming-of-age story about someone that happens to be growing up with a very different environment than us here in the US, right? So I think that this is definitely a very valuable read, especially if you want to learn more about how other people grow up, how pe other people are raised. And specifically, this is a book talking about someone being raised in Iran. So very different environment and understanding how the societal shifts took place on some level, as well as how someone who was very, very young learned and kind of viewed these changes growing up. It's a very interesting perspective to take a, uh, a look at, so I would definitely recommend checking this book out. That being said, the way that the story is portrayed is as a bunch of different short stories about different experiences from a very young age, so when she's pretty much a child, right, to how she grows up uh, post-college, things like that. So a lot of different short stories, a lot of different lessons I, I could say that you could take out of this book, but overall, even if you're not looking to learn anything, right, I do think this is a pretty entertaining read that gives you a different perspective on how other people are raised. And I, with everything, again, with everything that's been going on, um, in the world recently, I do think that I've kind of readjusted into a mindset where learning about different cultures, different upbringings, things like that, seems to be something that is at the forefront of my mind because I believe actually learning about how different people grow up, what different people learn about, how they're raised, things like that, uh, it's a good way to kind of try and bridge gaps between different communities that you might be meeting as you go out into the world. And yeah, it just offers a fresh perspective on life and things like that. Yeah, it's just it's just a good read. Um, there isn't really much I want to say specifically within the book because I do think that it's worthwhile just to crack it open. You could probably read this in a day if you really wanted to, and it's not all that difficult. Obviously, again, it's a it's a graphic novel, so. Um, pretty much just pictures, right? It's it's basically a giant comic book, right? So not a difficult read at all. It's very digestible. So, so if you're someone who doesn't normally like reading a lot of novels, things like that, um, again, good read. One thing I will say comparing this to a coming of age story in terms of like fiction, right? I would say most fictional coming of age stories feel very uh, not formulaic, but it's like everything that takes place in the story has a later effect later on in the story. And that's not really the case here, and I kind of like that because this makes it seem a lot more real, which it is. It's a memoir of someone's life, and not necessarily everything that has to have taken place. It may shape someone in, on some level, but it doesn't necessarily have a narrative importance in the overarching story of someone's life, right? It impacts where they go, 
right? It impacts how they see the world, but it doesn't necessarily have to pop back up later on in the novel as something super important that you needed to remember, which I really like. It's just, it's just a story about someone growing up. And I don't know, I, I, I just think it's a very good book to read right now. So yeah, once again, the book is called The Complete Persepolis. Check it out, and if you have already read it, let me know what your thoughts are about the story in the comments below. If you have any suggestions for the things that I might want to read in the future, let me know in the comments below as well. Definitely want to hear some of your suggestions, especially if you have something that relates to learning about different cultures, different communities, things like that. That's something that I've been thinking about a little bit more as of now, so I think reading about those types of things would be very interesting. So yeah, uh, that's all I have to say for this video. I will see you guys in the next one, and I hope you guys enjoyed.